What's going on my friends? This is King Solomon back with another video. And there was an article that I was reading and I was like, yo, I gotta share this with y'all, right? It's crazy because you know that like divorce is like a big thing in this country. It's big, not even in this country, like it's all around the world, right? Divorce is big, it's growing. If you looked at the divorce rates back in the 70s and you look at it now, it's growing like exponentially. Y'all, I couldn't wait to use that word exponentially, right? Anyhow, it's like a GRE word, right? Anyhow, <clears throat> so it's growing exponentially and you know, like in your mind, you think like, man, it's probably like some young couples, like, you know, people in their 20s and 30s and probably 40s. Those are the ones who are getting divorced and getting divorced like real, like, you know what I'm saying? Like they're getting divorced. Like they're, that's the rate. That's the age group that's getting divorced, um, you know, very often. Well, I was mistaken because according to this article, this is the American let me, let me cite this. I'm going to put the article in the thing, right? In the description. The AmericanBar.com.org. It says, and these are lawyers. These are like divorce attorneys that are writing this. 70, this is what the article says. <clears throat> it, was, it came out uh, like, like a year ago. 70s are the new 50s. How gray divorce differs from a typical divorce. I'm going to like run through it real quick, right? Just, just hang tight. Listen, listen. Gray divorce is the term referring to the rising rate in older adults, typically from long lasting marriages getting divorced. The term was coined as research showed the phenomenon of the overall divorce rate going down while the gray haired demographic rate of late in life divorce was on the rise. The 50 plus crowd currently makes up for a quarter of all divorces. One in 10 divorces are 65 plus. That's crazy. Right, because the whole point of marriage, you think it's like, oh, you know, it's like we're gonna grow old together, blah 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 blah. No, guess what? They're waiting till they get old and then they're divorcing. So you could make it to through the, you know, the rough times. Y'all have kids, da, 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 they go off to college, and then guess what? Boom, you get hit with the divorce. And the crazy thing is, during that time, you don't, imagine you 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 get married, you build yourself up, you know what I'm saying? You were struggling, boom 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 boom. boom. By the time you like 50, you're like yeah, like you know what I'm saying? You, the job promotion or you have a business and that joint booming and then boom you get hit with a divorce i'm telling you like i've i've seen this joint happen like i watch a lot of soccer you know you know around the world it's called football but i watch a lot of that and there was, i remember there was like 10 years ago there was this, there was this man who was a billionaire who he owned this team it was, the team was called monaco right so y'all know the guy mbappe that was on the you know on the um for the world cup right from france right this dude, that's where he came from. He came from this team called Monaco, right? AS Monaco. And that was where he like he was like killing it as a teenager. It was like, dude, this dude was like running through running through shit, right? And scoring goals and everything like that. And he owned that team. This dude had all these stars on the team. And he had bought the players and everything like that. And all of a sudden, I remember there was this one summer, like there was one year they they like they literally won the whole French league and everything like that. And I was like, whoa, like they came out of nowhere just winning, right? They had a good squad, everything. And all of a sudden, it was like the next year this dude like sold Mbappe. Like he sold him and sold all these players. I was like, whoa, how did this joy happen? Like, why did this like this dude is dumb? Like he got a good team. Why would he sell all the, the dude got hit with a divorce? And the divorce, like, he had to, like, you know, cut his asses. The dude was, like, hiding shit in Panama. It was wild. Like, putting stuff in his kid's name. It was, like, and she was, like, coming for his stuff. And this, these were, like, older people. This dude had to sell, like, the whole team. And, like, the team hasn't recovered since. You know what I'm saying? So divorce is really serious. That, like, that's some real shit, right? Boom, back to the article. Why are so many baby boomers getting divorced? There are a few reasons that researchers have found explaining the data of the increase in gray divorce. The first being that couples who are typically married for more than 20 years have simply grown apart. That makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You like you with somebody like, you know what I'm saying? Like that happens. You know, a lot of times people get married. They get married and here's the thing. Look at it. Like we'll break it down. Like you see somebody and like you see them and you like like you like them or whatever whatever, right? If you think about it, most of the time with marriage, the more the majority of the time that you're married for is the majority, like the majority of the time that you're married for, 
you're not literally together like it's just you and that person for the majority of your relationship. The majority of your relationship is involved with other people. Because you got kids, you got one kid, two kids, and there's all these different experiences. All these other things going on. You got family involved, this, that, all of that. So it's not just like like your boyfriend and girlfriend is just the two of y'all and y'all can just go wherever you want. It's not that. Like there's all these other like real life things going on. So that's why a lot of times when you see like people are married and then like the dude, he have like a girlfriend or even sometimes the woman, she has like a dude on the side. It feels fun. It feels new because like there's no, none of these, all these other like things that are like a part of that. It's crazy. It's really crazy. So after 20 years, they grow apart. You know what I mean? Like you got with this person, maybe your mind was this way. And then by the time like five, 10 years later, you're like, yo, you want a whole nother train of thought as a guy. And I know women be feeling like that. So that'd be happening, right? So, boom. So it says, couples that are typically married more than 20 years have sim simply grown apart. And the stigma of divorce no longer exists as it did for their own parents' generation. It's true. Because, you know, grandma and grandpa, you see, like, grandpa, you know, he had, like, five, six, ten different women. Grandma's still sticking it. You know, grandma might be doing her little thing or whatever, whatever. You know, he's still there. Like, they, people, no matter what, money issues through thick and thing, they really believe sickness and health. That was the vows that they were sticking to it. You know, back then it was a thing. Like, you know, somebody got divorced back in the day. It was like, whoa, he got divorced? Like, what? She got divorced. They got divorced. Now it's a common thing. They they have divorce parties. It's crazy. All right, boom. Again, it says, this typically happens after the couple becomes empty nesters and realizing that raising children was what was keeping them together. That happens so much. You know what I'm saying? People are like, oh, we going to stay for the kids, blah, 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 blah. The second is that due to a longer life expectancy, these couples are finding that in their 50s and 60s unhappy, these couples are finding themselves in their 50s and 60s unhappy. And with 20 to even 40 more years to live, they want to do it their own way. I'm telling you, man, you be seeing people like by the time they get to that stage, they don't give a fuck anymore. They really don't care. Like they're like at that point, I'm telling you, like women, you be fine. They be talking about how women in at that age, they're getting like more freakier. They're like freaky. They're cause the, at that stage. They like tap into who they really are. They don't care. They're like, listen, I've done been through it. My kids are in school. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to Greece. I'm about to lay on the beach, topless. They don't care, man. They really don't care. Boom. So, um, what was I saying? Second is due to longer life expectancy. These couples are finding it in their 50s, 60s unhappy. They want to do it their own way. Finally, some couples report to losing the spark, while others say that who they were when they got married just isn't who they are anymore that makes so much sense that's what i'm saying it's like a crazy concept if you think about it because if you think about it like think about it i don't know how old you are but the, whoever like whoever you are listen to this let's say you're 35 let's say you're 40 years old subtract five years of your life are you the same person you were do you like the same things you probably have very different interests the women you like are different the music you like is different so imagine getting with somebody five ten years ago and then like you know what I'm saying? It's better when you grow together, but a lot of times that doesn't happen. You both have different interests. You both have different things that you're into. You both believe different things. It's really crazy, right? Boom, you lose the spark. Many comment that they refuse to be complacent and they want to find what makes them happy in their remaining years. See, that's the thing. Some people, they're not going to do that. Oh, we're going to stick it out. And no, they're like, yo, listen, especially at that age, they're like, well, I only got 20, 30, 40 more years to live. Shoot, I'm going to I'm going to do it the way I want to do it. Boom. The reason may differ, but what is similar is that gray divorce is not the same as a typical divorce. Most gray divorce clients are retired near retirement or have reasons why they aren't yet retired. Most gray divorce clients have grown children and even grandchildren and most gray divorces will have a complicated division of assets due to the length of marriage as well as the stereotypical generational roles of the husband as provider and the woman as homemaker boom spousal support consideration if the high earning spouse is continuing to work in their business or their place of employment then prior to retirement the partners will need to look at the income of the parties and discuss spousal support awards if the other party has not worked and they're in their 50s and 60s, it is unlikely that they will be able to become fully self-supporting at this stage. Therefore, there may be spouse support orders that may remain in full force and effect up until retirement age. 
Um, blah, 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 blah. How does retirement affect greater force? Yo, it's a lot of stuff. We might have to come back to that because this, this joint is long, right? The whole point of it is, this is happening. This is happening. I might touch on this. I might come back to this article another time, right? But basically, 70s are the new 50s. That's what they're saying. And, uh, you know, it's older people getting up there in their 50s, 60s, 70s going up. That's when the rate, the, the, the divorce rate now is climbing. You would think it's the opposite. It's like people in the first five, 10 years, uh, it's not working. We can't stick it out. Let's get divorced. No, that's not what's happening. It's getting to the, you know, 20 years. We've been married 30 years. You know what I'm saying? And that's when they're pulling the plug. They're pulling the plug. And you think it's all oh, we grow old together. And when we get older, no, people aren't thinking like that. People are like, I'll figure it out. I'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot to think about. It really is. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, y'all, what y'all think about this? You know, what y'all, what y'all think? You know, do you think that this would, this is the road you want to go down? Or do you think that, uh, you know, you might have to just, you know, do the whole MGTOW thing, go it alone. Or what do you think? What do you think about it? It's a different time, man. I'm telling you, man, people got to live their life. You got to live your life. And, and move forward based on what's going on right now. You can't look at it, well, 20, 30 years ago. No, we're not in 20, 30 years ago. We are in right now, right? Anyhow, like the video, share the video, leave a comment. Um, Yeah, man, what y'all think about this? Um, put it in the comments down below. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit y'all with more videos. This is some interesting stuff, man. We have an interesting world. But I'm gonna hit you with some more videos, guys. And uh, this is King Solomon, and I'm out. Peace.